I'm Daniel. And I'm Danny. This is our physics and calculus project. Hope you enjoy. Hi, we're here for our calculus and physics project, which relates to this ramp we built out of cardboard, duct tape, and newspaper. Anyway, what we're going to be doing is we have this little box that we're going to be pulling up this ramp and using equations from and vectors that we've learned in calculus and physics, we're going to be figuring out generally work related to pulling that little box up the ramp. Okay. Here's what it looks like if we decide to draw it out. As you can see, we used uh, the actual distances for the lengths here. However, we decided to simplify things and just write out the angles as we tried to make them. For instance, uh, we have 45 degree angle here. It was actually more like 44, but with tape and cardboard and cutting and everything, that was as close as we could get. And then for here, same thing. Same thing for up here, too. However, we said round them off to simplify some things. But anyway, this is what it looks like. Morning, collect, wait, go. We used a program called Logger Pro to measure the force. I taped a special sensor onto the block as I was pulling up the ramp, which can measure the force we were applying through tension. This gave us a graph of force over time. So now we're going to find the displacement of the block. Currently, we know uh, the distance it moved up in the y direction and the distance it moved in the x direction. It did not move the whole length of the ramp here. It stopped in the middle of a block on the top, which was 15.24 centimeters away from uh, this length right here. So here's the actual displacement in the x direction. To find the total displacement, we use the Pythagorean theorem, and we solve for x, 89.25-ish centimeters. Okay, now we are going to solve for the total work done by us, which is the work of tension, because we used a rope, which is, of course is going to equal to the force times the displacement. Now we're going to say the force is approximately equal to the average force, which we uh, plugged into log pro and found the average force over the interval, which was 0 0.82 newtons. And we found the displacement using this triangle reproduced below, that Daniel showed you, to be 89 some centimeters. So over here, we are solving for the work of tension. So times the force, 0 0.82 newtons, times the displacement, 0.8925 meters. And we plug into that in calculators, we get 0.73185 joules, where a joule is a newton times a meter. Okay. By taking the dot product of the force vector and the displacement vector, we hope to find what theta equals. Because we tried to pull up at a 45 degree angle, but we couldn't really measure that. So we know that the force vector is going to be 0.82 times the cosine of theta for the x component, and for the y component it would be 0.82 times the sine of theta. So we take the dot product of those, we dot the force vector with the displacement vector, and we know what the work is because we solved for it earlier. Danny did it. And then, so we know this is the dot product, so then we find this equation. It looks pretty bad. And <laughs> so in order to solve for theta, we couldn't think of anything to do right off. So we decided to plug in some values for theta and see what we got. So first of all, we tried 45. 
and we got the work to be 0 0.7032, 7, which really isn't really, I mean, it's kind of close, but we want this number right here. So we kept on plugging in values, getting lower and lower and lower, until eventually we found that it was really close to 30 degrees. So using a few more numbers that we plugged in algebraically, we found that theta is very close to 29 degrees.